Leilani, and I'm gonna show you how I work on math concepts with Naomi at this young age. Okay. I have a couple of things I'm gonna show you. This book, as well as these. I'm in love with these. And I just thought of this. I'm totally gonna make a printable. Probably going to link it in the comment section. But you can really use anything. You can use flashcards, you can make your own flashcards. Now as you can see, Naomi does have a disability. She has Down syndrome. Developmentally, she's around two and a half, three. But I do like to introduce some of these concepts to her, the math concepts, because she actually really does get it. What is that rocket ship? It also teaches her vocabulary too. So let me get started. So this is a bin. It has cards, it has alphabet cards as well as number cards. And I really like these number cards because you know you have the number one but you have the elephant, one elephant. So what I'll do is I'll take these cards and I actually have little tiles. Is square. Yeah. Now you can use a range of tiles. You can use square ones, you can use circle, you can use rectangle, whatever shape you want. But what you do want is you want them to fit on. And sometimes these containers will come with sticks. You can use these sticks to tally as well. Okay, so the first number we're gonna work with is three. We're gonna start by looking at the number three. So take your finger and let's trace. Nope, we're not going to take it away. Let's trace that three. Three. All right, let's count. One, two, three. Now let's take this hand and just kind of do that. Yep, now let's do it. One, two, three. Now you do it by yourself. One. Good job. Now what we're going to do, Naomi, is we're going to put three tiles on each tiger. Or cheetah, it's a, it's a cheetah. Two. Three, good job, let's count it one more time. One, two, three. Right, you can do it again. Good job. Now, Naomi, which number is the three? Can you find the three? Which number is the three? Me. Three. Uh-oh, does that fit? Me. Let's try it again. Try it again. Good job. What number, let's see, ready? Pick a number. Um, this one? Two. All right, let's put it down on the table. All right, let's trace it first. Now we can't tell if she's left-handed or right-handed yet, so I kind of switch it up or follow her lead. So two, good job. And let's count one, two. One, two. Now Naomi's turn. One, two. Can you put your tiles on them? Good job. Yeah. Where's the two? Is that a two? Yeah. Does it fit? Yeah. Okay, so let's try another number. Is that the number? Is that a two? Okay, where does it go? You can do it. No, we're not gonna throw. We're gonna do the book in a second, but you have to first put the two on the two. Good job, good job. You want an all done pile? Okay. Now some of these numbers I'm not too thrilled with because you don't usually write a four like this, nor do you write a one like this. Other than that, I absolutely adore these cards. I did mention the sticks. You can use that with counting. So let's say you wanna do one plus two. So you would put these down. Of course, she's not ready for this, but we will be one day. I give my tallies. I put one, and then I'll put one, 
two, and these also come with equal signs as well as addition signs. Now let's look at your amazing book that I got off a of book outlet. I couldn't believe it. I found it off of Amazon, wanted it, and then I saw it on book outlet and almost died. So cheap over there. Count with me, one, two, three. Let's show them how this works. These have numbers that are nice, and they have arrows. You wanna show them how many cats do you see? Cat. Okay, so let's trace the numbers, okay? So one, one. Come over here. Two. Good job. One, two. Let's go to the next page. Three. Three. One, two, three. Let's do four, ready? Four, four. Let's curl this up, boots. One, two, three, four red boots. Five, one, two, three, four, five. So the idea here is that I do it enough with her so that she understands how to do the book. And so then when she's practicing on her own, she will actually do the tracing and the counting by herself. That's the idea behind this. It's a lot of hand over hand and repetition for a while. Yes, ma'am. What does that say? Train. Choo choo. No, no. You got it, girl. That was so good. You want me to do it? You want me to help? Can you say help? Uh, yeah, okay, we can do it. You want this hand, okay. Two, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So of course patterns is a thing that you do with math, patterns. So I have a lot of these little pattern blocks. I also have some shapes that we use where we do the basic ones. And the basic ones are the squares, the circles, the rectangles, oh, no. and the triangles. You wanna trace that, trace it in sand, trace it in a gel bag, or if you have the pattern blocks, you can trace it around the outside. I'm actually gonna get bigger blocks. You can also use paper too. Oh, look at that. We're gonna clean this up. That's a good job. You picked up the triangle. Yes! Yay! You put the triangles up here. It, this is a uh, impromptu way of teaching shapes. Good job. So I have this book right here, which is just pattern blocks. And I got this from Hola Amigo, which is a subscription box. But realistically, we're not able to really teach her Spanish as much as I want to and need to and feel the need to. But we are using these for just basic preschool. Eventually, eventually. I gotta learn Spanish first though. Are you almost done with your drink? Let's get your tongue in there. All right, so let's look at the different shapes. This is yellow and it matches yeah. yellow. Triangle. Right, oh, it fits the sun. Let's see if we can match the shapes on the kite. All right, there's two hexagons. I'm only gonna pull out the ones that she needs. Good job. That's a yellow hexagon. Yeah. Let's put the triangle down. I think it goes there. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy. Triangle. Daddy. Okay. That's a diamond. You the one great see. thing about doing YouTube is that when I'm sitting and editing these videos, I notice things that I don't normally pick up on when I'm working with Naomi. And this is a perfect example. So if you look at her carefully, she is drinking out of a blue cup. One of the things that she is having a weakness with is stabilizing papers or other things with her other hand. And because of that blue cup, she's not able to stabilize it, which tells me this is something I need to keep my eyes open for when I'm working with her. So what I should have done is taken away that cup. I totally see that now. I will notice this in the future, but just kind of keep that in mind. If you are working with a child who is a slow learner, special needs, disability, you probably want to make sure they have both hands free 
when they're working on hands-on material. You did it. All right, let's put this one. Where does that one go? Uh, there. There, good job. Very Daddy. nice. You have two more. Where do you think they go? Me. Not on top. I think it goes under. Oh. Yeah, what about this one? Mm -hmm. Notice I'm using under. Mm -hmm. It goes over and over. Yeah, no, good job, Naomi. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you guys for watching. My name is Leilani. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button to see our journey, how we're doing this together as a family, as a homeschool family of four. I am a former private school and public school teacher, and I do homeschool evaluations for the state of Florida. And this is Naomi. She is four. She does have Down syndrome, and you are gonna take over the world. Uh, uh. No? She'll take over the world. So if you're interested in seeing more videos about what we're up to, click on Summer on My Face. Check the description box below, and until then, what do you say, Naomi? Bye bye.